God is good. <sighs> Why do we pick other options? Or more options, I guess more things seem more attractive than going to church on Sundays. I mean, there's football games, there's baseball games, there's car shows, strip clubs, sports bars, but why not church on Sunday? Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, A-Town, Chi-Town, Cali, Texas, Florida, New Jersey. Hey, but if I missed you, leave it on the comments. Where are you from? Subete la suburban, cause we about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong Strong. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. Thank you for my salvation. Man, I, I I get taken back every time, like, just the way that I feel, just what he's done in my life, my heart. Um, you know, me getting baptized and, and just doing everything right, the right way, how my boss wants it done, has changed my life completely. Um, if I asked you, where do you go to church? What would you say? <laughs> and, hey, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to like judge you or, or nothing. I'm just saying this because I'm speaking from experience because I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story, my experience with the whole church thing when I get to it. <laughs> what would you say? What does going to church even mean, right? But the records, chicka, 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 chicka. the stats, chicka, 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 chicka. the views. Most people who say they belong to a church only go twice a month. Those are the stats. Hey, don't kill the message. Those are the stats. Twice a month. I guess for a number of reasons, I read on their kids, work, house cleaning, uh, taking care of uh, older uh, parents. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in there. Um, but the thing is that less and less of American families are attending church together every week. This needs to stop, for real. And, and this is coming from someone that just started their walk, but I see the difference, not only in me, but in everything around me. God created the church for very good reasons very good reasons and God don't change he don't change for you he don't change for me he don't change for nobody God is God and he created the church for a reason the church gives us a place to meet with others who have the same beliefs the same walk it gives us a place to worship God together church gives us a place to learn and grow together the bottom line is this guys church is a part of God's plan for us. Point blank. I'm gonna give it to you raw because some people just need to hear this message like this. If you are not in a church now, I suggest you find one. And if you are in the process of finding one, step up and you know get the process going. You need to be on church on Sunday. <laughs> if you are in, in a church, get involved. So let's do this. Gee, I, have a, I have a checklist on Sundays of stuff that I need to do, like take out the garbage cans, uh, clean the backyard, stuff like that. And my church is not on my list. So let's do this. What if we take going to church off your checklist 
and make it a part of your life, a lifestyle. Just like diet, just like working out, just, just like being, it's part of being healthy in your soul and in your heart. It makes a big difference in your life. tells us that. I mean, you should have seen how terrified I was when I went to that church. Um, I was scared, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was scared of <laughs> all the white people. I was scared. You gotta understand that my whole life that I've been in prison or, or like in neighborhoods, it's always been kind of segregated. I've always dealt with my own. And, and, and when I say my own, even people that were different races were still criminal. So I still had something, you know, uh, in common with them. <laughs> and here I am going to this church that's in it's in one of the very nice areas in Phoenix. It's about 45 minutes away. It's in Carefree, Arizona. It's Phoenix, but it's close to Carefree. It's it's an older crowd, uh, very reserved, very you know into the word, uh, uh, very old school. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. The first time I went there, I just kept on driving. I didn't even stop. <laughs> Second time, I went into the parking lot, sat there for a little bit, and then I left. And the third time, I was like. Man, I've been to the most dangerous prisons on this side of the world and dangerous neighborhoods and all different states. And I'm afraid of going to this church. But I came to realize that I was more afraid of change. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of becoming something that I had never been before. And it did, it did happen. <laughs> I love that church now. I, I love my church. I love going there. I love the old guys there. I, I love, I, I wouldn't change it because I know that I'm there for a reason. God has me right where he wants me. And I, I've been praying about so many things and, and so many, there's so many moving parts in my life right now. You know, um, that TV show that I was on, uh, America's Most Evil, just aired. Before that, it was Dead Files. And September is going to be Locked Up Abroad. and. You know, I had to pray about a lot of things that are going on right now because I needed to slow down and pray. And me going to that church and having fellowship with the brothers there is, is priceless, man. It, it is priceless. This is why it's so important. This is why God commands that we do this. You know, Jim, Mike, Ben, Chuck, Patty, all these people at, at this church just... I get so many hugs when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it makes me feel, you know, a little weird, but it, it's it's changing me. It's changing me. And and that's what you know, that's what uh, uh God does when you let him work. It changes your heart, it changes your friends. Yeah. Come visit us at Desert View Bible Church located at 105 West Carefree Highway in Phoenix, Arizona. Our services are on Sundays at 9 a.m. and 1045. It's a beautiful church. We love God. We love to serve. We love to disciple. Hey, what can I say? Can't break it down more than this. I love that verse. It ties into everything in my life, my, my fitness journey, my, my walk with the Lord. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, I've only been out for a couple of years. <laughs> you know, this is the first time I got off of probation. This is the first time, you know, I, I got married. This is the first time that I'm doing everything by the book and I'm happy. That's the best part. And I have peace in my heart. That's the best part. <laughs> There's so many best parts. I'm not saying that you're not going to have problems if you start walking with the Lord or you believe. In, I'm not saying that. He gives you the right mind to deal with it. You know everything's going to be okay because the war is already won. 
You just have to be diligent and do your part. That's it. Pick up your Bibles, listen to the word, read it, study it, meditate on it, live it. My name's JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. God got me fit, not the weights. Catch you guys on the rebound.